We all know that Nintendo Switch controllers, the Joy-Cons, Pro Controller, and even the NES and SNES controllers for Nintendo Switch. They're all really fun to use and work seamlessly. But what if you want to play multiplayer but don't have enough controllers for everyone to play? Does that mean that some of your friends are going to have to sit and complain while your other friends get to play Nintendo Switch with you? Well, maybe not, because there's a simple solution to this issue. These days, basically everyone has a phone or tablet, and that's how local multiplayer phone games like Among Us have no problem when it comes to everyone in a room being able to play together. If only everyone wandered around with Joy-Cons in their pockets. But what if they did? Say hello to Joy-Con Droid, an Android application which connects to a Nintendo Switch console and allows you to use your Android phone or tablet as a Nintendo Switch controller. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this application and I'll be discussing its pros and cons as we go along. So let's get to it. You can get Joy-Con Droid from the Google Play Store. As soon as we boot it up, we have a few options. We can use it as a left or right Joy-Con or as a Pro Controller. We can also map our buttons, change the UI, and even change the settings like enabling gyro controls and changing colors. First, let's try connecting the phone to our Switch as a Pro Controller. Once you select a mode, you'll be asked if you want to input your Switch's MAC address to have a more consistent and stable connection. To find your MAC address, go into the internet settings on your Switch and you should see it there in the current connection section. Now what you need to do is allow the Bluetooth connection if a prompt comes up, then go into the controller settings on your Switch. After a bit, you should see a prompt appear on your phone asking if you want to connect. If the prompt doesn't come up, then try holding the sync button, which is the one in between the shoulder buttons here. Now once the prompt comes up, don't agree yet. Instead, leave the controller settings on your Switch by pressing B once. Then agree to the prompt allowing your phone to connect. The reason we don't agree to the prompt while we're on the controller screen is because if we do that, the controller will disconnect. Then basically the controller works. Now keep in mind that this app is pretty hit and miss as it's still in its alpha stage so it's still pretty buggy. When it works, it works and it allows everyone to get in on the fun playing games like Smash Bros and Mario Kart together. Now what about the Joy-Con settings? Well, you can connect them in the same way as you did with the Pro Controller, but the thing is, it registers as vertical, not horizontal. Now this is a bit of an issue with stuff like co-op building in Super Mario Maker 2 because of the aforementioned disconnecting problem, so you're better off using it in Pro Controller mode. Now, using this controller, you might have to reconnect it a few times, especially when the controller prompt appears, like in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, I'm going to mention a few things to keep in mind when using this controller. Games that rely heavily on shoulder buttons, like Mario Kart, are a pain, as you need to claw the controller to use it effectively. Analog inputs, such as joysticks and motion controls, are approximated using digital values. They do work, but are not fluid like normal controllers, as you can see from this joystick tester and this footage of Super Mario Galaxy. As you can see, they work and get the job done, but are not fluid like real joysticks or gyro controls, so collecting star bits in Mario Galaxy for example can be pretty hard or annoying. Some devices don't seem to connect at all, but you can try to get them to work by fiddling with them a bit, however, this is not guaranteed. So yeah, Joy-Con Droid is awesome, now everyone can play Nintendo Switch together, regardless of how many real controllers there are. It's incredibly useful and can be used to save money in some cases. It's just amazing and hopefully new updates will come out to fix the bugs. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful. And if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. I'm also going to be running my first giveaway on this channel. You can get a chance to win a week of Nintendo Switch Online membership. To enter the giveaway, just write hashtag NeilNSD in the comment section and like and subscribe to my channel. Good luck, goodbye, and Happy New Year!